Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be having a look at some really interesting projects by Frog, namely these two Jeep Gladiator Rubicons. Now, one of them is a four-door, and the other one is a two-door with a exo-cage. Well, not necessarily an exo-cage, but a cage where the roof would be that goes into the bed. Now, the two-door one is obviously a little bit different from what, from what you would see in real life, but the four-door one is very much so a realistic build. So, we're actually on the 4x4 Trails 3 map, and is actually, the cool thing about it is that we are actually in the 4x4 Trail Challenge region, which is really, really cool. So, currently, we don't have, well, it says we don't have a garage discovered yet, but it's basically right behind us, and we're going to run the four-door gladiator first we're going to take it into the garage customize it see what it's like and then we're going to take out the two-door and have some fun with that one but without any further ado let's see garage discovered but does the garage work though let's see garage entrance over there where it says the fuel is there's a lot of weird stuff going on here oh it literally moved to garage that's pretty cool how it's like the garage is a garage at somebody's house that all of a sudden magically gets way bigger when you go inside. So, with all that being said, let's see. Engine, we've got stock, upgraded, and performance. Our stock engine is going to leave us actually at an A, so I'm going to leave the stock engine in it. And gearbox-wise, we got stock, we got highway, and we got off-road. I'm going to put the off-road one in this one. And suspension-wise, we have stock, lifted off-road, which lifts it quite a bit, actually as well as lifted hauler, which would, I'm guessing, stiffen the rear suspension to the point to where it would actually not bottom itself out once you actually put cargo in the back. So let's go with the lifted off-road, and we only have a couple of tire options. We have a 31-inch BFG mud train and a 35-inch generic off-road tire, um, or for icy maps, we have a 35-inch studded generic off-road tire. So we'll go with the 35-inch um, standard mud tire, and stock winch, basically that's our only uh, our only option. And bed stuff, I'm assuming, is just basically going to be your supplies. Okay, so like supplies, fuel canister, toolbox, um, like, you know, cooler, good stuff. So <laughs> rim of sorts is going to be your wheel choice. And you have a pretty good range of color options that you can pick as well. And let's see, I actually kind of dig this like... This like darker red. It's really cool. But I also like this. There's a lot, there's a lot going on here. And for some reason, what would normally be white, brown, and another brown is gray. Don't know where that comes from, but alrighty then. And the funny thing about that is that that actually looks really good. That actually looks really sick, and I'm gonna run with that. Yo, it's snowing out here. This is so cool. Like, legit, this is so sick. This is so sick. Is that a trail start over here? Let's see. Oh, it's a boost. Yeah, we don't need the boost, but that looks really good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shut that one down real quick, and we are going to build up the two-door as well. Now, I'm not expecting the two-door to necessarily have a lot more features than the four-door. It probably doesn't. Let's do... A little bit of a mild upgrade on the uh, on the two door one. We'll do the upgraded engine, the off road transmission, lifted off road because I don't really plan on towing with the two door, and we'll do the thirty fives. And this one's definitely gonna be your you know your trail riding, not necessarily trail riding based. That's what the other one is for, but definitely rock crawler based. So you could do a front windshield as an add on. I'm actually gonna leave it off because I think it's cool. And then we'll do the bed stuff in this one. And color-wise, I'll do like a... Mm, could do like an aqua blue. It's a little bit different, but why not? And obviously, you don't really get interior customization, so you can't put beans in it, unfortunately. Maybe in the future, down, down the line, he'll, uh, he'll change that. But let's see if we can mess with the... Uh, we'll make it afternoon. And honestly, that didn't really change the amount of light we have very much at all. Which is fine. All right. So let's shut you down and then let's plan out our test route. So we got boost right here and got a couple different trails. I'm digging this setup here. I think I'm going to go down to the left. Yep, right there. And I'm going to start in the four door gladiator. 
the four door with the 35s it's the full size boy so we'll see how we'll see how he does easing it down the got a contest right here apparently oh it's another boost oh wait a minute is the other one close enough to the boost that it's like freaking out oh no that's weird that was odd it told me I was in the area of the boost. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have gone in there. Oops. Man, keep in mind, this one's got the stock engine in it. This one does really well. I love how it's snowing out, too. Like, that's so cool. Love that about this map. Absolutely love that about it. And actually, if you keep it in automatic mode, it does really, really well. It's got some nice suspension travel, too. Nice flex, nice suspension travel. And to be able to drive a Gladiator in SnowRunner, that's just, like, that's the coolest thing. Like, I, I also completely and totally missed the trail, but, ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, bud. I said don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, this thing is so much fun to drive. Yo, look at that gorgeous view, too. Low Plus does really well. I mean, stock engine, off-road transmission, Low Plus just kind of drives up just about whatever you want to, like, put in front of the thing. There we go. It kicks it. All right. Let's get to a slightly more interesting area now because this area is cool, but it's not exactly what... Okay, so going straight is the way to the bridge. That makes sense. it up. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Go to the right. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I spun the camera around to kind of like check my position to see where I was and then I realized I was like, oh, I am like not in a good way right now. <laughs> Whoa, you actually have to build that bridge? Okay, that's really cool. That's really cool. At least I think they have you build that bridge. Got a tunnel right here as well. Bridge challenge discovered. Oh, reach the other side of the bridge. Take any route you like. And look out for shortcuts. Go as fast as possible. I can do that. And let's go. Bridge challenge activated. I think it was like three and a half minutes it said for like, you know, for gold. And I'm like, okay. Eh. That looks like a solid-ish route, right? Sure. Maybe I should have brought the like fully built one for this. Maybe. Oh god! Oh, that's that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Holy smokes! I caught the witch. That was literally inches from doom. Like literally, that was inches from doom. Like okay. Down over the edge. There may be a way where I can cross this river. But I, this, the, like, the level of pressure just went through the roof real quick. Oh, God, I really do not know where to go. I don't think I should have attempted this. At least not right now. But you know what? You uh, live and learn, I guess. Let's see if I can get, well. Oh, this might be something. This might be some- Oh, God! Get that rock out of the way! This might be something, though. Aha! It's a rock bridge, but it's an under- It's, like, actually under the water. That's kind of cool. Not many people incorporate that into their mod maps. I dig that. Kind of have to keep your camera facing down. Oh, this is an actual, like, legit maze. They take you all over the river. Luckily, the current is not so strong to the point to where it's, like, you know, pushing me downstream as I drive. Which I'm very, very, very thankful for, might I add. And... 
All right, we reached the other side of the river. Heck yes. All right, let's climb up and out. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. Let's go, 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 go. Will I be able to make it down this way? I have no idea, but I'm still going to try. Two and a half minutes. We're still in the gold. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't make gold on this one. We might make silver, but probably not gold. If, if we actually make gold, I'll be extremely amazed. Highly doubt it. Oh, well, it's right up there. I'm not even, like, fully looking where I'm going. I'm just looking at the actual, like, locator and just generally pointing the Jeep in the right direction. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, stay off the rock. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. I'm surprised it's staying in high through this. Like, I've let off the throttle and got back on it, like, quite a few times. And it's so far been okay with it. I'm breaking trail. Can't deal with this anymore. I'm going up. Oh, my God. I am going up. Not going to make gold, I don't think. But you know what? I think I found another way. And I think I will also be okay. Yep, we are A-OK. -okay. We're good. Don't worry about it. I went out on a limb going that way. Yep, definitely not going to make gold on that one. Can I go up there? No. Well, maybe, well, maybe so. Maybe so. I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure. What? <laughs> this is not good. This has not gone well. This has not gone well at all. Eh. Yeah, I'm going to cancel that contest for now because I'll tell you what we would have had to do. Had to go all the way up around and back down and over to the front of the bridge. I know how to do it now in case we have to go back and do it again, but I'll tell you something. Not the easiest challenge in the book, that's for sure. And if you guys enjoyed this quick look at both of Frog's Gladiator variants, definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time.